through combination of diet and dialysis. Within weeks, we will terminate the cancer once and for all. Nine essential amino acids, mm -hmm. 11 of them. Mm -hmm. So if we take away five or six of those mm -hmm. away, mm -hmm. it will only stop cancer cell to death, but not the normal cells. It killed all the cancer types we have tried. So it seems we are hitting on a universal feature, weakness of all cancer cells. What's up, everyone? We are at Indie Bio Demo Day, November 6th, 2018, in the Herbst Theater in San Francisco. We are super excited. This batch of companies is just incredible. The first person we are going to be talking to is Qian Li. He is the founder of Filtracine, which is depriving cancerous cells of their nutrients. This is very exciting stuff. Thank you for coming onto the show and talking to Thank us. Thank you. So, congratulations, you already even closed your $5 million seed round, yeah, which is lucky. incredible. Congratulations. So, tell us about, you know, tell us about you first. How did you even decide that you wanted to do this? I always, so as a biologist, I always focus on the chem chemical foundation of biology. If I can understand from the chemical perspective, I think, I, I think that is something right. So, from there, I, I view cancer as a fundamental chemical problem. So we want to fix it from at that level. And so how did you latch into, so on the chemical side of biology, yes, and then how did you latch into cancer as the one that you wanted to approach? And okay, so I mean, it is very well known. It's like almost 100 years old of discovery called the Warburg effect. We all know cancer cells, in order to grow rapidly, they have, to, they, they have to give up something. So, I mean, by, so we know that, but to me it's like a kind of like a strange, like not many people are targeting on that perspective with a real effective solution. Mm -hmm. So we started our company by just taking that perspective and figure out our unique solution. Hopefully we will terminate the cancer once and for all. And so this is drug free. Yeah. So how do we deprive the cancer cells of nutrients? Okay, so because the targets are nutrients, from the beginning we figured out we do not need a drug to take them away. There's already existing techn technology there, right? So first we just want to cut off the nutrients. So basically we do not eat them. Then we want to also overcome this internal compensation. So we need a technology that helps to remove the last trace of the targeted nutrients. That is dialysis. So mm -hmm. with, with our own tweak on the dialysis part, we will achieve uh, effective and fast nutrient deprivation within weeks. So, our, so the, the, the treatment will last only a few weeks if we are successfully uh, got approved by the FDA. And that is so incredible, it's just a few week treatment. What does, what does it look like when the cancer cell is first being depleted of nutrients? Is that through a process like fasting? Or what, how, how do we do it drug free? How do you do it drug free with those sheep? Okay, okay. Uh, so, so we cannot just simply starve the patients. Mm -hmm. So starvation is a straightforward idea, but the run. <laughs> Because when you stop patients, actually the body will respond to some internal signal, whether it's, whether it's from the cancer cells or from the other part of the body, but basically the body will break it down itself to nurture for those uh, processes. So that's why, that's why often you see the cancer patients, they lose a significant part of their body mass, yeah. usually a good, good part, not the fats, usually muscle. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so the, so our approach is different because we only take away those nutrients that are known, I mean, if you take it away, I mean, are known to be essential only for cancer cells. And which nutrients are we talking about? So there is a lot, but currently we focus on amino acids. Amino that acids. Is, yeah, that is effective enough. And which, do we know which amino acids? Yes, yeah, there's, yeah, yeah, we focus, so amino acids, the 20 amino acids that make up all the proteins in our body, uh, 
they are divided in two groups. One group is called the essential amino acids. Mm -hmm. So essential amino acids are required by both, uh, both uh, cancer cells and uh, normal cells. So we do not take them away. Yes, yes. But there's another group called non-essential amino acids, mm -hmm. 11 of them. Mm -hmm. So if we take away five or six of those mm -hmm. away, mm -hmm. it will only stop cancer cell to death but not the normal cells. We wow. have done this ex experiment, initial experiment, while we were at Stanford. So it does not hurt the normal cells. Interesting. Okay, so about five or six non-essential amino acids. Mm -hmm. And do we, do we f deprive certain foods that make those amino acids? Or how do we stop those non-essential amino acids from? So currently, we are, we are doing a formula diet. So basically the protein, yeah, okay. protein part of that diet is a mixture of the amino acids we want to feed the patients, not the cancer. So that which means it does not contain all 20 amino acids, but part of the, those. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, by cut off the supply of those, we can largely take away this feeding into yes. the patient. Then what we need is, 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 is is uh, effective and the fast technology, which is dialysis, to yes, help remove about the, the second part. Okay, so so the first so the first part is you have a formulation of a diet mm -hmm. that uh, that stops those five or six non-essential amino acids. Yeah. Then the second part is the di dialysis. Which mm -hmm. what does the dialysis do? Okay, let's see. The first part, if you feed the patients with the, our formula diet, patients will survive. But the target nutrients, we want to take away the target nutrients, probably will, will, in the blood will drop down maybe, let's say, 20%. I make this up. But that 20% 20, 20 is still able to nurture the cancer cells. Although, in, I mean, in a restrictive like, manner, but still, like, uh, cancer cells can grow on that. But if we, see, if we drop down that level to below 5%, it will kill cancer cells. Yeah. And, uh, Dialysis does exactly that part by removing the last trace of that from the body quickly ah, and efficiently. So how how does the dial how do I get hooked into dialysis mm -hmm. and how would it take that last part out? Okay, so di so common commonly dial dialysis can be performed uh, in two ways. We call it uh, hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis. Hemodialysis is you, you basically exchange the nutrient composition between your dialysis fluid and the blood. So that's a quick and efficient way. And there's also peritoneal dialysis. So you basically use the body cavity in your tummy. So that is a natural dialysis membrane. So if you inject the dialysis fluid into the body cavity, that membrane will will do the trick. So we exchange the nutrients across from the inside and outside. So both ways are doable, I mean, for our therapy, it depending on the convenience and the cost consideration for the patients. So we will, so our dialysis fluid will be supplied to support both kinds of dialysis practice. And so then the dialysis is, what is in the dialysis that makes it able to take the last part out? Okay, that's a little bit counterintuitive. Okay. So okay. So di so so first, I should explain how dialysis works. So dialysis wor works is is working on a membrane. So that membrane has a pore size. It does not allow the large molecule to pass through. So basically, in dialysis, you do not expect exchange. You do not expect the loss of, like, say, proteins or cells from the patients. Mm -hmm. It's only the small molecule stuff. Yes. Usually we call them nutrients from the f from the body fluid. Yes. yes. Yeah. So. Interesting. So, so then the body fluid is running out through the dialysis, and then the dialysis machine is preventing the small molecules from going back into the body. Is that right? It's 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 through exchange. So through basically, exchange. say. So it's, uh, in chemistry, we call it down the gradient. So say, if you mix a dense sugar solution with uh, water, glass of water, right, the, then the outcome will be less sweet, right? Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Dialysis yes. is so uh, be, the reason is because the sugar is moving from the the, the, the more concentrated part to, to the, the less concentrated. Less concentrated. Yes, yes. Dialysis works that way. So what is oh. not in our dialysis fluid is going to be drawn out from the body across the down the gradient. Okay. See, if we have a nutrient X, yes. we want to take away from the patient, we just do not add X in our fluid. So in dialysis, that X, the nutrient X, will move down its chemical concentration gradient to our fluid. Got that it. causes a net flow out. Yeah. Okay, cool. Is so that that's clear? That's clear, yeah. Mm -hmm. So then that's how you get the last couple percentages out of the body. Exactly. And then that's only a couple weeks. That only takes a couple, three, three or so weeks to do all of this from the form, diet formula to the dialysis and then the probably a revisit to the uh, later to check mm -hmm. up in maybe a couple of weeks to make sure it's not back. Yeah. So usually, so our uh, current estimation is it takes probably just two weeks to get to that level through a combination of diet and the dialysis. But then the rest time of the treatment is designed to maintain that depletion yes, level for, for, uh, for a period of time. So the cancer cells have a chance to die. This is brilliant. I love it. And then I, I want to know then, um, what about the, you said it was at Stanford that you were running these, right? The first, were you? Were initial assays. We complete yes. the initial assays. Okay. So basically we test it. We take away the nutrients from the medium. So in in initial assays, you culture cancer cells in a medium. Yes. That medium is actually in equivalent to, to blood. Yes, yes. So in terms of like a nutrient composition. Then yes, we yes. just formulate our own medium. So just drop out those nutrients and test, okay, if cancer cells can grow back. So it's yeah. from there, yeah. we know what the nutrients are needed. And it, it's not like a drop out of the nutrients, not only like a kill one or two cancers, like I showed just now, it killed all the cancer types we have tried. So it seems we are hitting on a universal feature, weakness of all kinds of cells. And this can work across uh, all, all cancers in all different organs or tissues or any, you think? Uh, I would hope so. Although I, we have only tested like uh, six major types of cancer, including like uh, 18 subtypes. Wow. Yeah, now, have, now we have more. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. This is incredible, excellent, excellent work. And that's why, you know, that's why you're so well, you know, so well received on the, on the, on the seed round, just completely filled up and yeah. now ready to go move forward. So what is the next step for you with the, with the seed round now? Okay, because we are drug free, we have this unique opportunity to launch at least part of our therapy as a as, as a product that does, we do not need the FDA approval. So oh. make it available to the cancer oh. patients <laughs> as soon as possible. Yeah. So we estimate that we can launch something next year, wow. in nine months. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So the, is that you can get the formulation diet out and then you can get, the dial, to get them plugged into the dialysis across where they live and, and wow, just like that super fast. It's awesome because the, yeah. the FDA and getting far approval is, that is a whole long process. Lots yeah. of red tape. So the regulatory path is pretty clear for us now uh, because the dialysis is commonly like practiced in clinics yes. already. Yes. So there is no issue over its safety. Yes. Um, actually, there is no scientific reason to believe our product is not safe. I mean, our dialysis fluid is not safe. Actually, it's safer than the current dialysis flu fluid. And then the only thing would be then the formula. We'd have to, you'd have to figure out to make sure that yeah. the formula is. Yeah, yeah. make right. it safe. So still yes. nurturing the normal cells, but starving the cancer cell. To yeah, death. exactly. Yeah. So then do you end up hiring? Who do you end up hiring in the next nine months to make it happen? Yeah, we are expecting, uh, expanding, uh, hopefully quickly. Yes. So we need expertise to uh, like uh, people to help us with the preclinical studies, mm -hmm. basically animal studies. We need somebody to, in, to develop the food product for us, yes, make yes. it uh, like a tasty, as tasty as, as possible. possible. Yeah. <laughs> also, we need, we need a, like a manager to, 
to make the food not on, only on lab scale, but on the industry scale, make it available to as many patients as possible. Industry scale, yeah. 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 And then the finally, we need uh, someone to supervise our clinical trials, clinical trials, which we will probably start doing next year. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I, I love it, I love it. I, you have the, all the right pieces in it, in it and it sounds like the your, the next steps that you have planned are exactly what you need. I, I'm very grateful. Thank you for sitting down with us and teaching us about this. Hopefully Thank we you. can live in a, in a, in a, a de, de, deprive the nutrients that cancer cells need. It's a drug-free solution. It's so incredible. Great work. Great Thank work. You. Thank you so much for sitting down with us. Thank you. Thanks.